Well, it's been two days since Connecticut's primary elections, and most of the races are now set for November. We know what those ballots will look like, and Fox 61's political reporter Emma Wolf Horace spoke with the winner of one of the most watched primaries, the Republican contest for U.S. Senate. So, Emma, tell us about your conversations that you had today. Well, Sarah, Bridget, I spoke earlier this afternoon with Matthew Corey. With low voter turnout, the state GOP says this primary race was all about who voters knew. And now that Corey's officially become the Republican nominee, he wants to make sure all residents know who he is and the reason he's running. I'm a Manchester native, lived here all my life. I joined the United States Navy right out of high school. I served in the Middle East during the 82-87, uh, during the uh, International Peacekeeping Force. I came back, I worked for the Postal Service for a little while, I worked for the Teamsters for a little while. In uh, 1989, I opened up a small high-rise window cleaning company and had that for 32 years. So there isn't a city or a town that I haven't traveled in and worked <laughs> in. So, and then I opened up a small Irish pub in Hartford, and I, I love my capital city, but I am now over in the East Hartford Golf Course, and I've been there for my sixth season. We have 14 employees, so a blue-collar, hard-working, small business guy. Yeah. And I know your primary party on Tuesday night was actually at your pub. Yes. That's a pretty special moment. And as you just mentioned, I really feel like that's been a big primary principle of your campaign is your focus on you being a businessman and you know business-friendly representation in Congress. I want to start with that. What does business-friendly representation in Congress look like for you? Well, you have to be a, ve a vested interest in the state of Connecticut, and I have that vested interest being a small business owner. So when you create policies in Washington, D.C., you have to know the impacts when you come home. Mm. And for someone like Senator Murphy, who has never worked in the private sector his entire life, never signed the front of a paycheck, the policies that he's bringing home is hurting small businesses and large corporations. If you've never worked in the private sector, you've never ran a business, you don't know the implications of those regulations that you're putting on small businesses and the cost, that's the cost of doing business. I know a lot of people in the small, that have small businesses that are now working by themselves because they can't afford the hired people. And that's, that's the effect that we're having. And to give somebody a raise just to give them a raise, a lot of that doesn't make sense. So he's compensating for the cost of living due to high taxes and forcing those cost of living wages onto small businesses doesn't work. And Corey and I talked also about his stance on a whole host of issues from crime to immigration and even abortion. You can watch our entire conversation Sunday morning at 10 on The Real Story, our weekly policy show. But coming up tonight at 6, I'll have a little bit more from Matthew Corey when asked what he would do in Congress with all the issues facing senators right now. Sarah, Bridget.